So I'm a huge nerd for mythology, as you can tell from my last video, which is the inspector review, I'll leave a card to that up at the top of the screen, but I just want to geek out for a minute. So, in Norse mythology, the Gleipnir stands for Open One in Old Norse, and Gleipnir is also the binding that chains the mighty wolf Fenrir. The gods had attempted to bind Fenrir twice before with heavy metal chains, but Fenrir broke free both times. So the gods then commissioned the dwarves to make an unbreakable chain, and so they gathered six impossible items, those being the sound of a cat's footfall, the beard of a woman, the roots of a mountain, and so on. After having gathered all those weird things, the dwarves made a chain that even though it was as thin as silk, it was stronger than any known iron chain. So, what does all of that have to do with the topic of this video? Honestly, probably not a lot except for the name of the show. So, anyways, let's begin. Today in this video, I want to discuss something new coming out in the season of Spring 2020. And no, believe it or not, it's not the Tower of God as many may expect. Nope, because as much coverage as that anime adaptation is getting right now, I've already covered that topic in previous videos which I will put a card on the corner of the screen in case you're more interested in that. Today, I want to discuss a certain manga adaptation that finished serializing in October of 2015 with the adaptation occurring as we speak, and that certain manga slash anime would be Gleipnir. And it's a little on the strange side, but with heavy signing aspects, now let's see why. Gleipnir is an action fiction romantic comedy that covers a girl, Kuria, also known by Claire. Don't ask me why, it's because of anime. But moving on, Kuria, in the search for her younger sister who has become a monster. Confused? Well, here's a little bit of a spoiler from the manga, so cover your ears if you're sensitive to this stuff. Claire witnessed her sister transforming into this horrible monster she had also witnessed her sister murder her parents. Sorry, spoiler alert again, but after witnessing her parents murdered with her own eyes by the hands of her younger sister, she contemplated committing suicide, which she tries doing by setting a barn on fire while she lays there and becomes unconscious. This is where our other main character comes into play, and that would be our lovely, good grades and great at sports boy by the name of Shuichi Kaguya. Shuichi, at face value, seems like your everyday school kid that turns down college recommendations because, I don't know, I guess it's normal? But he seems kind and timid to everyone, wanting nothing to do but fit in with the rest of the people around him because he assumes life is easier that way. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Shuichi has a big chip on his shoulder. Chip as in, the man turns into a monster like Kuria's sister. But not just any monster, nope, get this. This man turns into a giant fucking fluffy dog mascot that totes a giant goddamn revolver. Can I get a hell yeah, boys? Who doesn't want to see a random fucking high school football mascot running around with supernatural abilities in a revolver just shooting up uh, other odd creatures? This is the epitome of character development, okay? So, maybe I got off track for a minute there, but moving on. One of Shuichi's powers is he has a better sense of smell than a dog even when he's not in his mascot form. One day on his way out from take, talking to the principal, he smells a fire burning and gets curious, of course. So after he buries, I think it was a bird that fell out of the sky. Oh well, I can't remember details. Those aren't important. He goes to check out this fire and guess what he finds? Remember when the girl tried to pull a reverse Freddy Krueger on us? Well, your thoughts are correct, he finds a burning house with an unconscious girl inside and saves her later only to most likely regret it when she starts demanding that she pretty much owns him and starts degrading him because he stopped this delusional bitch from dying. Will he help her despite the fact of not knowing her? You know anime as much as the next person, so the answer is obviously yes. And while I could be a complete and utter dick and ruin the whole storyline and plot since I read the manga, I won't. You know why? Because I can't stand it when I get hyped for a show. And someone says, oh, guess what happens next? And continues to spoil the entirety of my happiness for the rest of the season. No, I won't be that guy. All I will say is Gleipnir may seem like an extremely weird and obscure anime from the concept, but it is quite enjoyable and I highly recommend trying it out. It's currently on the first episode, with the second coming out on the 12th, and new episodes airing every Sunday. With all of this being said, be sure to hit that subscribe button below for more updates and recommendations on anime and manga, leave a like, and comment letting me know if you're looking forward to this fairly obscure anime that will most likely be a diamond in the rough. Well guys, I'm broken obsessed with my otaku ways, and I will see you lovely peeps next time.